In this video, you will learn about section 4-8, Imaginary and Complex Numbers. To review, perfect squares are numbers whose square roots are integers. They mean numbers such as 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, and 144. What we're going to be talking about today is the other type of numbers that we've then we focus on all year. On the left here is this diagram we used at the beginning of the year, where we talked about how all the numbers are classifications of real numbers. Today we're going to be talking about imaginary numbers, which means that we're taking the square root of a negative number and we're now defining what that means. So the imaginary unit i is utilized when you're taking the square root of a negative number. So the way it is defined is that i squared equals negative 1, which we can rewrite as i equals the square root of negative 1. And that's going to be the focus of what we're dealing with today. Now, to take the square root of a negative number, we're going to take that square root of negative a, rewrite it as negative 1 times this, the square root of negative 1 times a, then the square root of negative 1 times the square root of a, and since we know the square root of negative 1 is i, we rewrite it as i root a. So for example, if I have negative 5, it becomes i root 5, allowing us to simplify. Now if we want to simplify a negative square root using imaginary numbers, you're first going to rewrite the radical as negative 1 times the square root of the number. Then you're going to simplify the radical to become i square root of the number. And then, if necessary, finish simplifying the radical by removing the largest perfect square. So in our first example, it's asking us to simplify the square root of negative 7. Now we can rewrite this as the square root of negative 1 times 7, which we can split to become the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 7. Now from our definition before, we said that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So now I can rewrite this expression as i square root of 7. And since the square root of 7 does not simplify any further, this is our final answer. Now in our next example, we're simplifying the negative square root of 20. First thing we're going to do is, is separate it, so it's the square root of negative 1 times 20 becomes negative 1 times the square root of 20, and again, like we said before, the square root of negative 1 equals i. So I can rewrite it as i square root of 20. Now if we want to go from here, we have to simplify the square root of 20. So if we were to go through our list, the biggest perfect square that divides evenly into 20 would be 4. So I can rewrite this as i square root of 4 times 5. I separate it so it becomes i times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 and the square root of 4 is 2. So it's i times 2 times the square root of 5. The last part is, is rewriting this in simplest form. Now from here I can rewrite this in our traditional form would be to put the 2i like a variable. So I can rewrite it as 2i square root of 5. And that will be your final answer. For our next example again we're going to split. So it's negative 1 times the square root of 32. So it's the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 32. And again, we can now make it so that that negative 1, because we know that the square root of negative 1 equals i, I can rewrite this as i square root of 32. Now from here, we need to simplify the square root of 32. 
the biggest perfect square that divides into 32 evenly would be 16. So I can rewrite this as i square root of 16 times 2. So it becomes i times the square root of 16 times the square root of 2. And that will give us i times 4 square root of 2. The last part of this is rewriting this. It becomes 4i root 2. In our last example, I can take this square root of negative 16, make it square root of negative 1 times 16, so it's the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16. And again, since the square root of negative 1 equals i, I can rewrite this as i times square root of 16. Now from here we need to simplify square root of 16. However, 16 is a perfect square. So this really becomes i and square root of 16 is 4. So your final answer for this example should be 4i.